Let's get to it. Um, so what is it that we do here? Hello, my name is Kirsten Morley, your certified emotion code and body code practitioner. Um, I am basically just doing emotion code. Emotion code is an energy healing technique that helps you to identify and literally release negative trapped emotional energies from negative past events. Trapped emotions are just like, you know, your organs create these, these energetic balls creating or, uh, uh, like just energetic balls of emotion. And sometimes when they become overcharged, they get stuck inside of your body, causing physical, mental, emotional, spiritual pain or discomfort. So headaches, back pain, lower back pain, pinky pain, knee pain, gut issues, reproductive system issues. They can also create a lot of, um, oh my gosh, what is that called? Uh, anxiety, depression, PTSD, triggers, um, lack of connection with other people, um, like not feeling very loved, all of the things. And then, um, uh, these trapped emotions are made of a, made up of energy, um, and they can exert an influence on the physical tissues. So again, physical pain or discomfort, um, all of the things. And then, so physical, mental, emotional, spiritual pain or discomfort, and then releasing these trapped emotions makes conditions right for your body to heal because that's what it was made to do. Your body was made to heal itself. But sometimes when these trapped emotions get in the way of the of your body healing itself, that's when it causes or creates a lot of issues. And so what I do is I energy. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. So what I do is we energetically release. Ah, sorry. <coughs> I energetically release negative trapped emotions from your body and then your body feels better physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, all the things. <laughs> Hi, and I'm going bright red, it's fine. Um, so the physical, mental, emotional, spiritual pain or discomfort or issues or difficulties often disappear or they become a lot more manageable. So there's that. <laughs> and then I love to talk about the heart wall. So the heart wall, um, if you have any of these ten symptoms and you probably have a heart wall, anxiety, depression, PTSD, low energy fatigue, major health issues, foggy mission in life, relationship issues, so like giving and receiving love, and then abundance and wealth issues. If you have any of these ten symptoms, then you probably have a heart wall. So what happens, um, like how do you get a heart wall? So when you go through trauma or abuse or just like really, 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 really stressful times in your life, your your body has an energetic self-defense mechanism to protect your body because your body is the most, or sorry, your heart because your heart is the most important organ in the body. Without your heart, you're not getting blood to your toes, your fingers or anything else for that matter. So when you go through the the trauma, your body creates the emotion and then your, your body scoops up the emotion and places layers over your heart, creating this wall for your heart and so once that um, heart wall is there sometimes um, even though you're not in the abuse or the trauma anymore sometimes it stays there you know kind of like a like you're in a bomb shelter some people love to prefer to stay in the bomb shelter even though the war is over and so um, once you release the um, the heart wall emotion by emotion it typically takes three to five sessions just depending on the emotions that are there and then once it's gone then um you feel better it, those 10 typical symptoms either go away completely or they become a lot more ma uh, manageable so that's the gist of it welcome everybody so um if you'd like to enter to win just click on the link in my bio and click on the button that says live tiktok session giveaway and we will get started on some sessions. I'll probably do like three or four tonight, just depending on my energy level. Obviously, the more energy I have, the more sessions we can do, which is exciting. But um, yeah, that's the gist of it. So hello, hello, excuse me. All right, so we have a couple people here. And then just a reminder, I'm only doing new people today, um, obviously, unless nobody signs up. So, Amanda Lee, Amanda Lee. Amanda Lee, I don't know your name, Amanda. Let's see, 
going once. Thank you for the likes. I really appreciate it. Let's see. Going twice. All right, moving on to the new, a new person. Amy Hampton, Amy Hampton. Amy Hampton. Hello. Hi, welcome. All right, so what uh, would you like to work on today? We can work on literally anything you want. So anxiety, depression, we can work on anything physical. So headache, back pain, lower back pain, um, anything. I feel like my comments are not coming through. Let me hurry and check the settings here. Settings, comment settings. Block keywords, nope, okay. Headache, oh I love working on headaches. Um, on a scale of one to 10, how do you rate that? One being the lowest and then 10 being the most severe. The comment section is quiet today, which is very fascinating. Seven, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Let's go ahead and we will have um, a quick moment of silence and we'll get to it. this proxy for you what is the biggest trapped emotion we can release now that's causing this headache am i even out of one be even am i even out of one three five fear when did this 10 20 20 19 18 17 16 15 age 15 do we need to know more okay let's go ahead and release that do we correct that? What's the biggest trapped emotion we can release now that's causing this headache? Maybe even out of one. Insecurity. When did this 10, 20, 30, 28, 7, 6, 5, 4, age 24? Do we need to know more? Okay. Let's go ahead and release that. Do we correct that? What's the biggest trapped emotion we can release now that's causing this headache? Maybe even out of one, three. Grief. When did this pretend? 20, age 20. Do we need to know more? Okay. Let's go ahead and release that. Did we correct that? What's the biggest trapped emotion we can release now that's causing this headache? Maybe even two, four, six. Shock. When did this pretend? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, age 4. We need to know more. Okay, let's go ahead and release that. Did we correct that? What's the biggest trapped emotion we can release now that's causing this headache? Maybe even out of one, three. Self abuse. When did this pretend 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, age 4? Do we need to know more? Okay, let's go ahead and release that. Do we correct that? What's the biggest trapped emotion we release now that's causing this headache? Maybe even out of one. Heartache. When did this occur? Age 10, 20, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, age 16. Who needs to know more? Okay. Let's go ahead and release that. Do we correct that? What's the biggest 
trapped emotional release now that's causing this headache. Maybe even two. Lack of control. When did this crescendo? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, age 5. Are you recognizing any of these emotions? You need to know more. Okay. Let's go ahead and release that. Did we correct that? What's the biggest trapped emotional release now that's causing this headache? Thank you. Excuse me. Uh, what is the biggest trapped emotional release now that's causing this headache? Maybe even honor one, three. Grief. When did this crush end? 20 age? 20. Do you need to know more? Yes, all of them and the ages. Oh, how exciting. Let's go ahead and release that. Did we correct that? What's the biggest trapped emotional release now that's causing this headache? Maybe even two, four. Guilt. When did this crush end? 20 age? 20. Do we need to know more? Okay. Let's go ahead and release that. Can we correct that? What's the biggest? All right, go ahead and stand up, walk around, take 10 steps, move your shoulders around, move your neck around. Ooh, mine popped. Give me a little shimmy, a little bit of twerking. Get it, get it. Get it, get it. And then on a scale of one to 10, one being the lowest and 10 being the most severe, how do you rate the headache? Again, one being the lowest and 10 being the most severe. a four that's incredible i'm happy for you that's awesome so go ahead and take some really big deep breaths and then definitely recommend a tall glass of water and um any electrolytes that you can get your hands on preferably the ones with less sugar um, or putting a little bit of salt and baking soda, like a pinch of salt, pinch of baking soda into your water. And, um, that should help knock out that headache as quick as possible. So, um, let's get to another session. Let's see. Alrighty, Ruskies. Let's pick a new person. Let's see. Lorianne Clayton. I don't know how to pronounce that. You're so welcome. I'm so happy for you. I hope it helps. I hope it helps. Yay! Welcome. Let's, uh, yay. <laughs> I love that. Um, tell me what you want to work on and we can get started on that. So like headache, back pain, lower back pain, peaky pain, gut issues, um, anything. Anxiety. Oh my gosh. That's no fun. Um, all right, let's do it. So on a scale of one to 10, how do you rate it? One being the lowest and then 10 being the most severe. 36, anxiety. A six, that's definitely higher than we'd like to see it. So we'll have a, a quick moment of silence. We'll get to it. this proxy for you yes what is the biggest trapped emotion actually hold on all right what is the biggest trapped emotion can release now that's causing this anxiety maybe even out of one three 
self abuse. When did this occur? Future 10, 20, 29, 18, 17, 16, age 16. Do we need to know more? Okay. So self abuse is like being really hard on yourself. To be correct, that looks the biggest trapped emotion we release on that's causing this anxiety. Can we even add a one, three? Rejection. When did this 10, 20, 29, 18, 17, age 17? We need to know more. Okay, let's go ahead and release that. To be correct, that looks the biggest trapped emotion we release on that's causing this anxiety. Can we be even two, four? Uh, panic. <clears throat> when did this 10, 20, age 20? Do we need to know more? Okay, let's go ahead and release that. Do we correct that? What's the biggest trapped emotion we release on that's causing this anxiety? Maybe two, four. Anger. When did this occur? 10, 20, age 20. Do we need to know more? Okay, let's go ahead and release that. Do we correct that? What's the biggest trapped emotion we can release on that's causing this anxiety? Maybe even out of one. Vulnerability. When did this pretend 20 age 20? We need to know more. Okay. Let's go ahead and release that. Do we correct that? What's the biggest trapped emotion we can release now that is causing this anxiety? Maybe even two, four. Hatred. When did this pretend 20 age 20? Do we need to know more? I'm so sorry, I'm so confused. That's okay. I am releasing negative trapped emotional energies from Laureen. Um, she is dealing with anxiety and it's about a six right now, um, actually before we started. So um, I'm just releasing trapped emotions for and on behalf of her. And then um, once we re we've released like mm, six, then we'll be able to see what is... <gasps> Oh, my mom passed when I was 20. I'm so sorry. Panic, anger, vulnerability, and hatred. That's like literally going through the whole, the entire grief cycle. I'm sorry. Um, okay, let's keep going. What is the biggest trapped emotion release now that's causing this anxiety? Maybe even out of one, three. Rejection. When did this 10, 20, 30, 20, 7, 6, 5, 4, age 24? Do we need to know more? Okay, let's go ahead and release that. Did we correct that? What's the biggest trapped emotion? All right, go ahead and stand up, walk around, take 10 steps, move your shoulders around, move your neck around. Give me a little shimmy, a little bit of twerking. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh. I'm so sorry to hear that about your mom. That's awful. Aw. So on a scale of one to 10, after a really big deep breath, how do you rate the anxiety? One being the lowest and then 10 being the most severe. One being the lowest and then 10 being the most severe. was a heavy session yay from a six to a four that's good that's really really good let me ask one more what is the biggest trapped emotion we really saw that's causing this resistance to healing with this anxiety even out of one three stubbornness when did this occur age 10 20 20 19 age 19 we need to know more okay you're so welcome Did we correct that? What's the biggest? All right. One more really big deep breath. And then on a scale of one to 10, one being the lowest and 10 being the most severe, how do you rate the anxiety? I was in love with really with my head today. I'm officially done putting up with it. I'm sorry. That's awful. One more time, on a scale of one to 10, how do you rate that anxiety? Yay! 
Yay! We cut it in half. That's awesome. Super cool. Okay, let's do another session. If you'd like to enter to win, just click on the link in my bio and click on the button that says live TikTok session giveaway. And again, I'll probably be doing anywhere from like three to five sessions today, just depending again on my energy. So how exciting. I'll give you guys a few minutes to enter. Unless Amanda's here, Amanda Lee. I haven't seen you on for a minute here. Hello. I'm good. How are you? Let's see. Can't complain. I hear ya. I'm really good as well. I'm just really tired. It's kind of been a long day. It's like been one of those days that's just like tedious things, you know, like lots and lots of tedious things and yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. I thought I got rid of my cough last week. <laughs> All right. Hello, hello, hello. All right, we are going to be doing another, another sesh. Let's see who gets it. Amanda Lee going once. Going twice. Next. Mm. Michael, welcome. I believe that would be you. Hello, welcome. Let's do a session for you. What do you want to work on? We can work on anything from like mental health. We can do anything physical. Um, how do you do emotional co-trading? Um, if you, so there's two ways that you can do it. If you want to just go read. Sorry, hold on. I got a plug -er in. So if you want to learn how to do the emotion code, um, just click on the link in my bio and go purchase the book. It'll actually teach you all of the basics of what I personally do. It'll teach you how to release your own trapped emotions. It'll teach you how to really, or uh, muscle test. It'll teach you how to release your own heart wall and so many other things. Um, I love it. And It'll teach you all the basics. And then if you want to go get certified, you can also click on the link in my bio and click on the button that says, I want to get certified. So, um, yes. Uh, Michael, what about mental health did you want to work on? Did you want to go straight for like uh, a symptom like anxiety or depression or an emotion that you're feeling? Um, what do you prefer? You're welcome. I appreciate you being here. Let's see. CPTSD. Okay, just so you know, um, when it comes to CPTSD, I believe that it can help, but I also believe it's, it could take quite a few sessions. Um, actually, that it depends on the person, but um, if you were to pick one trigger, what would it be? So we can work on a specific trigger. We can work on uh, a specific emotion that you feel. Um, what is it? And then on a scale of one to 10, how do you rate it? One being the lowest and then 10 being the most severe. One being the lowest and then 10 being the most severe.
Oh. I am so sorry. That is awful. So what what symptom is preventing you from being able to work? Alarm clock eight. I don't know what that means. Will you get triggered by your alarm clock? Is that what you're saying? Sorry, I just want to make sure that we're on the same page here. Um, triggers me into panic attack. Woo! Okay. On, so on a scale of one to ten, um, how do you rate that? One being the lowest and then ten being the most severe. Um, as far as like the panic attack. Eight. Okay. Let's have a quick moment of silence and then we'll get to it. this proxy for you yes what is the biggest trapped emotion you can release and that's causing you to be triggered by your alarm clock maybe even on a one insecurity when did this occur oh i forgot to ask you do you feel like it's like a panic attack at an eight right in this moment or is it only um uh is it only like when you actually use the alarm clock just curious. Um, insecurity, when did this occur? 10, 20, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, age 16. We need to know more. Okay, let's go ahead and release that. Did we correct the only when an alarm or email ding goes off? Okay. In a minute, I'm going to have you actually set the alarm and tell me how it affects you um because i'm kind of curious so do we need to know more okay so release this insecurity age 16 i don't know if we already did that but what's the biggest trapped emotion can release and that's causing this um trigger of alarm clock maybe even on a one three confusion when did this occur age 10 20 age 20 we need to know more okay let's go ahead and release that did we correct that? What's the biggest trapped emotion can release that's causing um, you to be triggered by alarm clocks? Maybe even other one. Heartache. When did this crash to 97? Age 7. We need to know more. Okay. Let's go ahead and release that. What is the biggest trapped emotion can release now that is causing this uh, trigger? Causing you to be triggered by the alarm clock. Maybe even two, four, six. Shock. When did this crash to end? 20, age 20. We need to know more. Let's go ahead and release that. To be correct though, it's the biggest trapped emotion we can release now that is causing you to be triggered by the alarm clock. Maybe even two, four. Hatred. When did this crash to end? 20, age 20. We need to know more. Okay, let's go ahead and release that. <clears throat> Did we correct that? What's the biggest trapped emotion to release now that's causing you to be triggered by your alarm clock? Maybe two, four. Hatred. When did this crash end? Nine, eight, age eight. Okay, let's go ahead and release that. Did we correct that? What's the biggest? Trapped emotion can release now that's causing you to be triggered by your alarm clock. Maybe even outer one. Vulnerability. When did this crash 10, 20, age 20? Do we need to know more? Okay, let's go ahead and release that. Did we correct that? What's the biggest trapped emotion can release now that's causing you to feel, um, or sorry, that's causing you to feel, uh, Triggered by the alarm clocks, maybe even out of one. Heartache. When did this crash to 97? Age 7. 
Let's go ahead and release that. Did we correct that? What's the biggest trapped emotion release now? That is causing you to feel triggered by the alarm clock. Maybe even two, four. Depression. When did this first end? 20, age 20. Do we need to know more? Okay, let's go ahead and release that. Did we correct that? What's the biggest? All right, go ahead and stand up, walk around, take 10 steps, move your shoulders around. Move your neck around. Give me a little shimmy, a little bit of twerking. Get it, get it. Get it, get it. Let's see. Yep, people get triggered by random things for sure. Hello. I'm triggered by my kids. Me too. <laughs> no, there are some people who um, like legit have like not, I don't know if you'd consider it like a phobia or like they just like straight up get triggered by certain things and an alarm clock could be one of those things. <sighs> oh, that's funny. I feel the same way. I get it. Loud noises make me see red. Oh my gosh, I totally get that. So, do you feel like it's still at an eight though? Is it still like super high? Loud chewers. So like, AS excuse me, ASMR is like not your thing then probably. <laughs> not right now, but it's climbing. Okay, let's, let's, Let's do this really quick. I'm going to do a couple more and I want you to like actually set an alarm. Um, just like, Hey Siri, wake me up in five minutes, you know, or like wake me up in two minutes or just set a timer and like have the alarm go off. Hey, ASMR. That's so funny. He's an actor. I think he's faking. Well, if he is, then that's his own problem and his own waste of not faking. Okay. I believe you. <laughs> that's fine. So let me ask this, what is the biggest trapped emotion from release now that is causing this um, resistance to healing with you feeling triggered or you getting anxiety with the alarm clock? Maybe even out of one, three, grief. When did this pretend 20 H 20? We need to know more. Do you recognize these emotions by chance though? Did we correct that? What's the biggest trapped emotion release now that's causing this resistance to healing with feeling triggered or getting anxiety with the alarm clock? Maybe two, four. Panic. When did this pretend 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, age 7? We need to know more. I'm confused by age 20. Um, so I feel like. The emotions that have come up with as age 20 aren't necessarily all yours. Does that make sense? So we'll go ahead and release that. Panic age seven. It's the biggest, like, like when we go through 
different times in our life, we are also open to absorbing emotions from other people's uh, lives. So for example, if you had a roommate that went through like a horrible breakup um, and you were 20, that's that you could have absorbed that. Does that make sense? So, but also, I don't know. It depends on, um, crap, I just lost my train of thought. Anyways, so let's ask, what is the biggest trapped emotion from release now that's causing this resistance to healing with the alarm clock? All right, um, go ahead and take one more big deep breath. <sighs> Boss was not the only narc in my life, except dad is. There we go. Yeah. It, you know what sucks as well is um, people who are very toxic in your life can also cause you to absorb a lot of their negative crap, if that makes any sense. So if he was in your life at age 20 or before then, um, I'm kind of not surprised. Does that make sense? By what you've absorbed. So that's interesting. Very interesting. Okay, let's uh, have you go ahead and take some really big deep breaths. It does. He projects all his BS on me and fam believed it all. Oh, I hate that. I am so sorry. That is so hard. I feel like when people project a lot of like that toxic negativity on you, it causes so much tur turmoil in yourself and it's so frustrating. So I'm sorry. So on a scale of one to 10, how do you rate the alarm clock then? One being the lowest and 10 being the most severe. And now I'm just kidding. Are you kidding me? That is so hard. Yay! Okay, that's good. So we've made some progress. Um, just so you know, with P uh, CPTSD, um, I'm not allowed to say that I can like cure it because that's not what I do here. Um, we just release stuff and then your body heals itself. So, but as far as like CPTSD, CPTSD, um, it's gonna take a lot more than just one mini session. Um, especially if you have a lot of different types of triggers. Um, first and foremost, I would definitely recommend releasing your heart wall. If you don't want to do that with me, go read the book, learn how to do it yourself. That's also an option. And um, what else was I going to say? Um, release all courtings. Therapy. I hate therapy. <laughs> but I'm glad. That's the thing. There are some people who therapy helps which I'm so grateful that it helps you um keep just continue to go keep going to therapy if that is helping you um but yeah I hope you get the healing that you deserve because I know as like with your profession um sometimes if you are not able to control certain emotions it makes your job 10 times harder so I get that thank you for being here I really appreciate it and um I really hope that you're able to get rid of that trigger because I hate alarm clocks too. <laughs> so, cool. Let's uh, pick a new person. Impossible right now. Listen, I'm actually working with another, um, with an actress right now, and, um, or she's trying to become more and gain more confidence in herself, and it's helping immensely. So I, 10 out of 10 recommend, for specifically for your job if you can if you can have the ability to like um not get triggered or oh it's it's amazing plus helping you like raise your confidence level it's really incredible to watch like just the difference in like the energy levels and also if you're trying to get um jobs and stuff um, releasing broadcast messages are by far my favorite thing to release because it makes people see you differently and treat you differently. I actually had a client today, what's today, Monday? Yeah, I had a client today that was like, I, I feel like people see me differently and they're treating me better. And I'm like, what? It's amazing. Just because we were releasing 
lots of broadcast messages. So um, a, really quick, a broadcast message is kind of like a vibe that you put off towards other people and then they unintentionally treat you that way. So for example, if you have a broadcast message of ignore me, then people unintentionally ignore you. And it's really cool. Really, really, really cool. So, but then you like release it and then you replace it with something new, like um, acknowledge me. Then you get into like the place that you're like, um, oh my gosh, like, you know, you, like you're doing your, your acting stuff. And then if people unintentionally ignore you, regardless of how amazing you are, nobody's going to see you. Nobody's going to notice you. Nobody's going to acknowledge you. And so once you get rid of a lot of those broadcasts and those negative broadcast messages, then you're able to replace them with positive ones and people see you for who you are rather than what you're not, <laughs> if that makes any sense. But um, yeah, so yes, yes, I would love to, I would love to work with you on that because it's really, really cool. So, all right, um, let's do one more and then I have a lot of things to do. Let's see. All right, if you just want to enter to win, just click on the link in my bio and click on the button that says live TikTok session giveaway and we will get started. Oh, I just hit a wall though. <laughs> Maybe we'll be done. I'll be back on tomorrow though. Um, yeah, I'll be back on tomorrow. <sighs> Let's do that. I will conserve my energy for tomorrow. So, um, Thank you so much for being here, y'all. And um, I really appreciate every single one of you. And I hope you all have a fabulous night. Good night.